Hello, this is Cass Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Last time we visited Sage Guido, and he gave us the means to enter the Forest of Moor. Namely... This thing. Um, that said, we aren't doing that yet. Right now, I... well, I'm doing this. We'll see how far I get. Probably not very. <laughs> But, we'll see. I saved right before I started up, so it's the shield dragon. Yeah, that thing is definitely undead. So, which means it is weak against fire. If I can actually hit it with fire. Ah, no, that's, that's not really as effective as I was hoping. How about the phoenix down? Um, no, it seems to be immune to that. As well. I wish I had not done that. But it sort of worked out. Critical hit is good. I don't know how much HP it has, so... Right. I should probably still just run away. To be honest. If I even can. I totally can't, can I? Oh well, Ferris is a zombie. And attacking me. That's, that's, you know, just great. I don't think I can run away. No, I totally can't. Okay, well that was educational. Apparently Ferris can't cannot die when she's a zombie, but she's hell bent on killing me, so you know, limited helpfulness there. Uh I wonder. Hmm. Haha! -ha! No, no, that that's that's uh. I need my time magic! <laughs> okay, so, what is clear is I still cannot kill this thing. Abundantly clear. Even. I mean, I guess it, I could probably throw a lot of money at it, but I'm not doing that. Anymore. So this is your instant game over, right? I guess not. Bars is not a zombie. But I can't run away. You know what? Let's just save some time. <laughs> well, yeah, it was worth trying, I guess. It didn't work out, but I'm I'm not there. Okay, fortunately, I had a plan B for this episode, and it's called Go to X Death's Castle, because he's not there, but something is. I don't know what, but something. You know, something. Also, I gotta say, I really like the having no encounters on the submarine thing. Because normally I would expect to have to fight battles going on the top like this, but nope, none. Which is kind of nice. Anyway, we'll take our dragon the short extra distance. I can't land there, really? This is not a time saver at all! Oh well. Um... Sure, that saves us, like, maybe two dozen steps. <laughs> anyway, we're in. x deaths up there, and we can't do a thing! Ah, I can't stand it! Maybe Sage Guido knows something. x Death isn't in here. The door's locked. We haven't found any way to get through, x you cad. So you can't break down the door or pick the lock or anything? Man, you guys are freaking incompetent. No wonder he's walking all over you. You'll pay for this, x -Death. We'll avenge King Zezat. We swear it. Anyway, let's see if there's anything in here. Uh... 
I'm gonna do something a tiny bit risky and throw on that one. Okay, there is... This is the healing area. But, is there anything in here? Is the question. Oh, well, there's still monsters in here. But, they're still not doing anything. Hmm. Oh, there's still monsters down here. But probably the really weak monsters from before, but it's a back attack, so I'm gonna run away anyway. Because it's sort of just not worth my time. Really. Yes, that's right. Running away. Any there we go. Okay, um nope. Maybe there isn't anything new in here. I mean, I guess it's a possibility. I should probably just run away from everything in here, to be honest, because it really isn't a way uh, worth my time to kill it. Well, probably not. We'll see. M maybe I get a ton of AP. I sincerely doubt it, but maybe. Uh, well, the gill is nice. I need that, actually. The XP and AP are pitiful, though. Uh, okay, it might be worth it for the kill, actually. Also, the inordinate number of potions. Because I have yet to fight a spider that has not dropped a po potion, uh, it seems. I am 6 for 6. Make that 8 for 8. Okay, uh, th this looks familiar. Um, nothing in here, though. Right, so, I may come back here later on to grind up some gill, but... But, I don't think there's really anything else here that is worth my time. And that's something I would do off screen, because I do actually need quite a lot more gill so I can buy all that equipment. Um... But, uh... But I'm not really... But that's not something I want to do on screen. There, that's what I wanted to say. Which does raise the question of what I'm going to do this episode. Hmm. Tricky. I guess we could go visit the Moogles. I'm sort of curious if there's anything new over there. I mean, I doubt it, sort of, but... No, there's probably- oh, I should- you know what? I should visit Kryl, actually. She prob- now that I've visited the sage, she probably actually has something different to say. Probably. Probably. Okay, so I have a next destination now. That's nice. Okay, to Kryl, I guess. Um, I really wish I could interact with them. They sort of- they're sort of bothering me. Oh well. Oh well. Just oh well. Heal up for free. And two castle ball. Again. Oh well. Hmm. I've gotten two summons in this world so far, but by my estimation, there should be one more. But I have gotten two, right? Thinking, thinking... Yeah, I got Golem, and I got the thing in the... Yeah, there should definitely be one more in this world. Because I got three in the other world. Well, technically four, including Titan, I guess. But Titan was a freebie. So, yeah. I Why am I on the... Wait. Man, Castle Ball is so out of the way. <laughs> Is there, like, a thing down here I can fly over, maybe? Maybe... Um... Maybe... There's totally not. 
Okay, that is just a pain in the ass. The bright side is, I am currently on the fastest vehicle for reaching Castle Ball. Which is to say, the Wind Drake. Because the submarine sure as hell isn't getting in there. Oh well. Oh well. Just oh well. Let's see... I still need to fight that Gill Turtle too, but to be honest, that's something I may not tr even try to do again at all, because it is so far out of my league that it's sort of a why even bother thing. Whereas with the Shield Dragon, I am confident that I will sooner or later be in a state where I can fight it. I'm just not there yet. It'll happen eventually. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, to trial, right here. I feel better, really. Don't push yourself now, Grandpa. All right, that—that's it. Liddy Krell collapsed. I no kidding. Ah, Russell, Russell. Okay, that was. Different, but not really a big... Oh well. What is there I can even do? Because I don't want to go into the forest this episode. I want to save that for next episode. But it's kind of hard to do that when I don't know what else I can do. I don't know. How much money do I have? Uh, that is not the money button. Um... <laughs> I have enough to buy armor for one character. any one character, but only one character. Like, Bart's armor costs, let's see, 1400 gil? For no, 14,000 gil. And... It w the one piece on just about anyone else ranges from 3 to 6 thousand. Like, the full set for Bart's is 6, wait, 1400. Or, well, I say full set. Really, I just mean... Helmet and... Body, because I'm not buying him a shield. Bars. Not... not Ferris. Or accessories, for that matter, because Genji gloves. I don't want to go into the... The reason I don't want to go into the forest is because I'm going to be grinding... It's because after this episode, I'm going to be grinding up money and probably some AP, but mostly money to be honest, so that I can buy all that equipment from more before going into the forest. So if I went in, I would need to leave again, then cut, go back in, and that's sort of just a huge pain in the ass. And I guess I could just cut this off, but that would be a really short episode. I don't know, I did have a lot of long ones for Golden Sun this week, and a really long one last week too. I mean, the last... The Friday, last Friday episode alone was long enough to be an entire week's worth of episodes. So, I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just end up off early. Maybe I will. What is certain, though, is I'm probably going to do that. Um... Actually, actually, there is one thing I want to try, which is going to be non-permanent, so I'm going to save here. But it's worth trying. Just as a sort of test. Because it'll use too much resources to have it sort of keep it as a run. But it will tell me how close or far away I am from success. And that is to... go back here and throw money and items and shit at that dragon. See what happens, you know? Shield dragon. Preemptive strike. That is good. Throw a shuriken. Use a high potion because this will tell me if it's undead. It is not. Okay, that's good to know. It should totally be undead. It's kind of bullshit it's not undead, but... At least now I know. And throw money. Which did 
zero damage. What the hell do you mean you're immune to having money thrown at you? That is such bullshit. Uh, okay, um... I can't use any magic on it. I think I can run away with teleport? Let's find out. I can run away with teleport. But this is intimidating. Wait, wait, wait. Jumping Geo Chef or whatever. This must be the 12 sealed weapons. They really do exist. I thought they were only a legend. So these were used in battle a thousand years ago? They've all turned to stone. Guess you can't expect much more from stuff that's a millennium old. One of the 12 legendary weapons. Yochi's Bow. One of the 12 legendary weapons. Masamune. Ruinax. Really, Ruinax? That's the bet. Anyway. Holy Lance. Sasuke's Katana. Assassin's Dagger. Excalibur. Gaia Bell. Apollo's Heart. By the way, uh... Ick. Magus Rod. Sage's Staff. And... Fire Lash. Really? Fire Lash? An el elemental weapon? I wa wish I knew what this was, and I'm kind of happy I managed to get here in the first place. But it did cost me, if you include the shuriken, um, around 5,000 gil. So I'm still not going to keep this, although I may come back here, although I'm obviously going to come back here just without spending resources on it. But I can do that off screen. And this is a good way to pad episode length, yay! So. Until next time, when we enter the Moor Forest, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy V with Chaos Blue, and have a nice day.